Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we've got new cards to talk about, some very nice new cards, and we're going to start with Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri looks busted. Okay, it's one of those cards. It's not like the kind of card where you look at it and you're like, oh my god, that's the best card I've ever seen. It's going to win. It's going to be the, the main card in every deck. It is just a really, really nice support Pokemon that I expect is going to see a whole bunch of play because, frankly, we've seen this kind of thing before, but this might be a little better. So what we've got, and I have done the translations myself as always, but check with a lovely Antoine Boulay. We have got the ability that says, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may look at the top six cards of your deck, reveal a supporter card you find there, and put it into your hand. Oh. Yeah. You know how Mew from Celebrations was like really good? Like really proper job good? It's Mew from Celebrations, except instead of finding an item card, it finds a supporter card. Is this better than Mew? I honestly think so, yeah. And don't get me wrong, right? Mew, you can use a supporter for the turn, and then Mew to get items and stack them all on top of each other, and jobs are good. And I understand this, right? But this is just the kind of card, like, how many games have you lost because you couldn't find a supporter to help yourself get rolling, and by the time you were rolling, it was too late and you were done? A lot. I've lost a lot of games because I couldn't find a supporter card. This is basically going to stop that happening. Or at least make it a lot less likely. How many games have you desperately needed boss's orders for the win? You get boss's orders, you win the game. Yet yeah, This will help you get boss's orders for the game. This is a phenomenal card. Supporters are a very, very big deal. This is going to be huge. And yeah, I know that Mew, you know, turn one, going first, using Mew to try and get a battle VIP pass, getting a bunch of basic Pokemon. That was a phenomenal play. It's a play we saw a lot. It's a great play. I am not in any way, shape or form discounting Mew. Mew was amazing. I just think this is as good or better because of the importance of supporter cards. Like, supporter cards are so good, you're literally not allowed to play one, turn one, going first. Because playing it turn one going first gives you too much of an advantage. So you have to wait until turn two. Or if you're going second, you're fine. It is a redonkulous ability. And frankly, it is going to give consistency to decks. And there are going to be a bunch of decks out there that are just like, mate, I'm consistent enough, we're good. And for those decks, nah, ignore it, it's fine. But there are going to be plenty of other cards that we see that are just using this and going, yeah, th th this is going to be amazing. I love this card. I absolutely adore it. I'm giving this five Wossies. I legit think this is a hands-down, flat-out five Wossie card. Sometimes I look at five Wossies and I'm like, oh, is that a little bit too generous? And this time I'm like, nah, mate, this is fine. What I will say is somebody over at Creatures designing these cards loves Tatsugiri. Because Tatsugiri has had a bunch of cards already, uh, and they tend to be pretty gosh darn good. Like, this is the third Tatsugiri card, and we've already had the one with Mise en Place that searches for basic water energy and attacks them to your basic Pokemon. And we've had the one Survival Strategy that lets you search for any two cards and switch. And, of course, it got a shiny version in Paude and Face. And let's not forget the Donzozo that works with Tatsugiri. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should mention that quickly while we're talking about this. Yeah, fine. This might not be a water Tatsugiri. It might be a dragon Tatsugiri. But it doesn't matter. The Dondozo from Scarlet and Violet, it does 50 damage for each Tatsugiri in your discard pile. Just needs any Tatsugiri in your discard pile. So, yes... You absolutely can use this one. And just to be clear, if anyone out there like me really likes this Dondozo, this is the best Tatsugiri with which to pair it. Cool? Excellent. What else have we been shown? Well, we've been shown a Conkeldur, which I find super interesting. It is not the first time I have found a Conkeldur super interesting. We've had a bunch of them over the years. The very first one from Noble Victories always had a special place in my heart. 
and people who are trying to do the most damage ever always end up playing around with this card because it got an extra 20 HP for each fighting energy attached to it and there was no limit. What about this new one? Well, 180 HP on a stage 2 is fine. Single energy, 80 damage, and this Pokemon is confused. It's alright. I mean, like, single energy 80 is good. Let's make no mistake about that. Single energy 80 is a very good attack. But it's the second attack which I like the most. You see, 4 energy 250 is too expensive. I like doing 250, but 4 energy on a stage 2, nah, mate. I'm alright, that's way too expensive. But... What we've also got here is a little bit of text that tells us if this Pokemon is affected by a special condition, it can use this attack even if it doesn't have the necessary energy attached. So it now becomes 250 for nothing. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that's very, very different. And look, I know it's a stage 2, and I know stage 2s are super awkward. I get that. But it's 250 damage for nothing. 250 will get your basic EXs and below. And there's always, you know, if you want to go silly, you can always do something like Maximum Belt to go up to 300 and get your Stage 1 EXs, for instance. I really like this. Uh, as a side note, in terms of special condition, you do not want confusion, which I know is what the first attack does, but confusion gives you a 50% chance of the attack failing. You, you don't want confusion. You obviously also don't want sleep or paralysis because they stop you attacking. You want poison or burn, and might I suggest brute bonnet. Brute bonnet here seems to be the best option because all you need to do nice and simply is attach an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, and then you can poison both active Pokemon, which actually works out kind of beautifully, because you get the extra damage from poison, while also doing 250 for zero energy. And yeah, fine, taking the poison damage isn't ideal. It's, it's really not that bad for me. I, I think this is absolutely fine. Love it absolutely love it huge fan of this card uh, i'm giving it between three and four wasties because it is still a stage two and that's a bit awkward but if you're going for poison anyway there are some other silly things you can do you can use radiant hasuian sneezler to add an extra 20 damage from that poison which is clearly fun and is going to make you know that 250 now becomes 270 which is pretty nice or perilous jungle which incidentally does like the same thing except not against darkness pokemon and now all of a sudden you're doing 290 for no end and yeah fine right in order to get that going you got to have brute bonnet with the tool and you got to have radiant the suing sneezer and you've got to have the stadium as well as the stage two like i'm aware that when you start trying to really take advantage of the poison you are looking for a bit of a combo I don't really care, honestly. I think there is a lot of potential here. And then we get to Clefable. I like Clefable. Stage 1, 2 colourless energy, and bearing in mind Double Turbo absolutely still in the format right now, so it's a single energy attachment. And what we've got is, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks, and use it as this attack. Oh, we cooking now, ladies and gentlemen. We cooking now. Uh, free Energy 100, incidentally, hot garbage. Nobody cares. We're not worried about that at all. But this is an attack which has a lot of potential. Now, to be fair, we have already seen this kind of stuff before. We've seen this attack a lot. One thing that's weird to me, I've seen people saying this attack has never been good. Yet it absolutely has. I don't know how many people remember it, but I do. Zoroark from Black and White. Zoroark from Black and White was in the deck with which I got top four at the biggest tournament in Europe. The European Challenge Cup back in 2014. Should have won the whole thing. That's I, I had like two hours sleep and attached a tool to the wrong Pokemon. That literally cost me the tournament. Boo, etc. Yeah, foul play was Zoroark. It, literally the same. Same HP. Same attack. Same cost. Like weirdly similar. Except Zoroark actually had a better first attack. It's not got the same HP. It's got 20 less. But you know what I mean. Same kind of thing. I loved that Zoroark. 
I think this Clefable could be good. And look, basically with this kind of Pokemon, what you have to do is you have to look at what's good right now and figure out basically which Pokemon can KO itself. So this actually becomes a decent attack against Charizard when your opponent has taken enough prizes. I mean, it's actually five. But when your opponent's taken five prizes, this will one-shot a Charizard. Do remember double turbo energy reduces by 20, so it will not one-shot a Charizard. Please bear that in mind. But certainly, this into Charizard works very nicely indeed. Uh, Giratina? Now, you can't use Star Requiem because you don't... Well, you probably won't have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone. But you absolutely can copy Lost Impact and do 280 to Giratina. Although, again, it's kind of annoying if you're trying to use Double Turbo, because then you will be 20 damage short. Yes, that is a little bit of a theme. I'm sorry. A lot of these Pokemon that can KO themselves, you, you do have to worry a little bit about. But maybe Iron Hand has taken a hit, and you finish it off with Ampu very much, and then take an extra prize card. That could absolutely work. Roaring Moon... Yes, you absolutely can copy it. You do then have to do 200 to yourself and you will be KO'd. <laughs> but this one you can copy for a double turbo. And look, if I take two prizes and give up one, yeah. And that's kind of my point here. There's plenty of Pokemon like Chen Pao where you're going to look at this and be like, I'm not playing water energy, this isn't working. It is not good against everything. But basically, look at the Pokemon in the format, and you can do this for now until when Clefairy rotates. Look at the Pokemon in the format. Who can KO itself without some weird thing like having certain types of energy, etc.? If there are enough Pokemon that have an attack that can KO themselves, Clefairy becomes really, really good. Back in 2014, a full decade ago, depressingly, I was using this with Zoroark to great success because there were a couple of relevant Pokemon in the format that could KO themselves. There is absolutely no reason that couldn't be done here. And the fact that it's a stage one for colorless energy, i.e. any energy acceleration will do. Yeah. This is one I have absolutely got my eye on. I think this could be genuinely, absolutely legit. Oh, I'm giving it four Wossies. I think this is genuinely brilliant. And there is actually one more that has been revealed this morning. Because weirdly, we had a whole reveal on the website with the ones I've just shown you. And then while they were doing that, they were like, oh yeah, also while we're here, mate, have you seen the new Glalie? I hadn't. I have now. Uh, free energy, 140. Discard an energy from this Pokemon now, nah, mate. I'm fine. But one water energy, 20 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. It's all right. I don't mind this. Like, I showed you Brute Bonnet the other day from this set. And Brute Bonnet is basically this, but absolutely just blowing it out of the water damage-wise, because Brute Bonnet is 50 plus 50 for each damage, free energy on a basic. This is 20 times one energy on a stage one. And honestly, because of the ways we've got to accelerate energy to a Darkness Ancient Pokemon, I am actually happier with the free energy on a basic than the one energy on a stage one. But if you're playing the Evolution Line for Frostlass anyway, remember I showed you the awesome Frostlass earlier, which has got that redonkulous ability whereby it puts one damage counter on each Pokemon with an ability between turns. And remember, they are on the same evolution line. They both evolved from Snorunt. So I'm just saying, this has a place. If you're playing stuff like Frostlass, having this as a one card in your deck, single energy, very good attacker, is not bad. I'm giving it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. It's the least exciting card I'm looking at today. But I still think it's pretty good. Tatsugiri, I think we are going to see a ridiculous amount of Tatsugiri. And then we've also got Conqueror. Very good, but it is a stage two, so take up a pinch of salt. And Glyphable, which I'm convinced is way better than people are giving it credit for. But now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these cards you're excited about. Tell me which of these cards you want to be playing around with. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. 
That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. I guess shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Matt DS, who's been a supporter of ours for a long time now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.